No Direction Home is the informal Soho Directors community. Find us at nodirectionhome.com. So during your storyboards, have you done that already or you're doing that when you're looking at finding locations? Um, yeah, I think I was doing that. Yeah, I mean, storyboards, I just did them, you know, I just got up every day and drew them and they took about six weeks to draw. And really bad and I was talking about Story Wars the other day to someone and it sort of dawned on me that it's better to do bad Story Wars in a way because then you don't get so attached to them. Whereas yeah. the whole pre and great Story Wars, you, you, you sort of think, well, I have to rely on these and shoot these because it's taking so much time. Whereas if it's just a stick figure and roughly where your camera is going to be, then you kind of, that leaves more room to not be attached to them so much. I did learn on the first week of Slow West, I think like on about the third day, I got the story, third day Michael hid my storyboards. <laughs> um, but, and then about the fifth day when I got the storyboards out, I could see Michael like being annoyed, you know, and, and um, it was a lesson that, yeah, that is annoying for an actor flapping the storyboards around because it is saying this is all pre-planned. So I learned to sort of take more sneaky look at the storyboards and and then and then work with the actors not just look at it like you've got a recipe already done yeah so i think what i'll take from slow west the next film is try and rely less on the storyboards but for slow west we were doing 40 setups a day and it, i just had to just shoot the storyboards because yeah. i wasn't moving the camera so every new shot was a new setup and um so i only had time for one take or two takes at the most and that's just a decision you could either Robbie went on to shoot with Andre Arnold the exact opposite way of making a film which is you know have the action going Robbie's constantly trying to keep up with who's doing what you get what you get the actors say different stuff it's a little more like a documentary that yeah. he's capturing um, which yeah Slow West was you know it felt like the only way to do it was to because especially with the action sequences like the the third act you know I just did not want to move the camera I was just so it felt like you know Paul Greengrass had sort of overdone that whole thing and I just you know I thought Bresson can shoot a discussion with static shots why couldn't I apply that to action and just shoot a whole action sequence without moving the camera you yeah. know which is what happened but yeah it takes time and um, on setups, but you get the right. We waited. It gave us enough time to wait for the right light, and it gave us a lot more time to. So we didn't shoot that much film. And so were you shooting available light? We were shooting when the light was right. Yeah. Um, but film four, even film four, we get a bit panicky by the lack of shots coming in. But they were great shots. Yeah. How much time before that have you got in terms of going, okay, this is how much time I've got to prep it and mm. get the thing going? Well, again, it comes down to sort of compromising choices, but I had three or four months prep in New Zealand, so I went over and had a lot of time with my um, production designer and my costume and my AD to, to set up the scheduling. And, you know, Robbie just practically just came in and came on set, you know, and he had... But he'd done all his work with the, we got his lighting guy over and, and um, I'd sent him all the films that I wanted him to watch. So that was enough, I think. Yeah, fantastic. Um, and so casting, how, how, how did you find that process? Um, again, as soon as I got to New Zealand, the New Zealanders are great and it was so much fun. And if you ever get the chance to shoot in New Zealand, if Peter Jackson's not making a film, then it's amazing because you get Oscar winner winning crew and the finest New Zealand actors that are all just doing nothing <coughs> um, and will work for cheap and they're brilliant, brilliant yeah. crews. So Maori guys laying tracks just in minutes and if I'd known that I would have done, I would have had more tracking in my, do a tracking <laughs> from New Zealand, they just, it's, yeah, coming back to Britain and was a bit of a shock actually. For the, <laughs> but, uh, and the camera crews do the tracks as well, which is, you know, it's not like a separate thing, so it's just like... Um, the actors were all really 
a mixture of brilliant New Zealand actors and um, the next compromising problem was Ben Mendelsohn because about a month before the shoot he agreed he got an offer he couldn't refuse from Ridley Scott um, so he went off to shoot Exodus and I was faced with getting a new baddie and shooting my two weeks or having Ben Mendelsohn and having three days and I chose three days with Ben Mendelsohn so uh, the main baddie was creatively used as well that's nice to go out of three days yeah yeah well we can show a clip and i can you know i mean like i did every trick i mean people are not in the same not even not in the same room not in the same okay they are in the same country <laughs> <laughs> uh, big fur jacket so you can put that on it and someone else to ride a horse uh close-ups when he's supposed to be on a horse on a hill he's standing in a car park, you know, that kind of thing. So just a lot of, I, th I think that was the great thing about the way I made all these beta band, not even the music videos, but the ones that I did on a Saturday with my mates, you know, was just how to get around problems. And, you know, and I'll show you that with a lot of the stuff we didn't have rather than having to revert to CGI. And also, um, it really pleases the crew when you when you've got that attitude, you know, like they really like it. Yeah. Because it's a problem, and then it's not a problem. <clears throat> no Direction Home is the informal Soho director's community. Find us at nodirectionhome.com.